thermogravimetric analysis or thermoanalytical studies. Thermogravimetry is a valuable technique to record changes in mass as a function of changes in temperature. It's a way to find changes in weight related to the change in temperature. It can be abbreviated as TGA and is used in characterizing different compounds and their degradation temperatures, etc. The analysis is carried out by increasing the temperature of the sample slowly and plotting weight percent against temperature. Whereas DTA, that is differential thermal analysis, is almost parallel or alike DSC, that is differential scanning calorimetry. We can prepare a number of compounds, you can synthesize them and they can further be characterized via this wonderful technique called thermogravimetric studies or thermoanalytical studies that provides data or information regarding compounds heat stability and influence of decomposition on each stage. I'm Professor Dr. Moina Akhtar Mohal from Dr. M. Mekazi Institute of Chemistry, University of St. Jamshiro. Thermal analysis. Now, it's further divided into thermogrammetry and types of thermogrammetry. It relies on a principle that is description, recording of reserves, information obtained from a TG curve, factors affecting a TG curve, then of course the instrumentations, and then that finally leads to applications. Thermal analysis. The term thermal analysis incorporates those techniques in which some physical parameters of the system is determined or recorded as a function of temperature. When matter is heated, it undergoes certain physical and chemical changes. These changes that take place when an unknown sample is heated provide us with information that enables us to identify the material. According to Wendlet, any analytical instrumental technique is regarded as the thermal analysis method if the physical parameter is measured as a function of temperature or time. According to this definition, these are the thermal methods that is electron diffraction, X-ray diffraction, mass spectrometry, UV visible and IR spectrophotometry, electron spin resonance, proton nuclear magnetic resonance. Thermogravimetry. Introduction is the method of thermal analysis in which a physical property of the substance is measured as a function of temperature, while the temp substance is subjected to a controlled temperature programmer. An internationally accepted definition of thermogravimetry is as follows. It is a technique whereby weight of the substance in an environment heated or cooled at a controlled rate is recorded as a function of time or temperature. Types of thermogravimetry. Well, isothermal, static thermogravimetry. In this technique, the sample weight is recorded as a function of time at constant temperature. Quested static thermogravimetry. In this technique, the sample is heated to constant weight at each of the series of increasing temperature. Dynamic thermogravimetry. In this technique, a sample is heated in an environment whose temperature is changing in predetermined manner or generally at linear rate. Most of the studies are generally carried out with dynamic thermogravimetry. Therefore, it is generally referred to as thermogravimetry. Principles. The principle of thermogravimetry is based on the simple fact that the sample is weighed continuously as it's being heated to elevated temperatures and changes in the mass of the sample are studied. Changes in temperature affect the sample. Not all thermal changes, events bring a change in the mass of the sample that is desorption, adsorption, sublimation, vaporization, oxidation, reduction and decomposition bring a drastic change in mass of the sample. It is used in analysis of volatile products, gases products lost during the reaction in thermoplastics, thermosets, thermoelastomers, composites, films, fibers, coatings, paints, etc. It is used in analysis of volatile products, gases products lost during the reaction in the thermoplastics, thermosets, elastomers, composites, films, fibers, coatings, paints, etc. Description. It is a technique which is studied under thermal analysis and is employed for detection of such type of materials which undergo mass change that is gain or loss when, when subjected to thermal events, decomposition, oxidation, reduction. 
And for this reason, it is very significant to optimize those conditions factors on which the change of the mass of the sample depend throughout the operation or throughout the experiment. Regarding of the result, the instrument used for thermogravimetry is programmed precision balance for rise in temperature known as thermobalance. And you can see here a graph that is plotted between mass and temperature. Okay, results are displayed by plot of the mass change versus temperature or time and are known as thermogravimetric curves or TG curves. TG curves are plotted nor plot normally plotted with the mass change dm in percentage on the y-axis and the temperature t or time t on the x-axis. A typical TG curve has been shown in figure 1. There are two temperatures in the reaction. Ti, which corresponds to the initial temperature, produced decomposition temperature, representing the lowest temperature at which the onset of the mass change is seen. Tf, that is the final temperature, representing the lowest temperature at which the process has been completed respectively. The reaction temperature and interval, that is Tf minus Ti, depend on the experimental condition. They do not have any fixed value. Information obtained from TG curve, plateau. Now, plateau, now the figure, which I will show you, AB, is that part of the TG curve where the mass is essentially constant or there is no change in the mass. Whereas, procedural decomposition temperature, the initial temperature TI, B, figure 2, is that temperature in Celsius or Kelvin at which the cumulative mass change reaches a magnitude that the thermal balance can detect. So these are... Simply, this is the figure, whereas you can see the final temperature T and C figure 2 is that temperature in Celsius or Kelvin at which the cumulative mass change reaches a maximum. Reaction interval. The reaction interval is the temperature difference between Tf and Ti. Reaction interval. The reaction interval is the simply temperature difference between Tf and Ti. It can be concluded that thermogrammetry is concerned with the change in the weight of the material, its temperature changes. First, this determines the temperature at which the material loses weight. This loss indicated decomposition or evaporation of the sample. Secondly, the temperature at which no weight loss takes place is revealed, which indicates stability of the material. These temperature ranges are physical properties of chemical compounds that can be used for their identification. Factors affecting thermogravimetric curve. Now, these are the instrumental factors that depend on a heating rate, sample holder, atmosphere, and effect of furnace. Now, the sample characteristics. They are weight of the sample, compactness of the sample, heat of the reaction, sample particle size, and previous history of the sample. Instrumentation. Now, it simply relies from the components of the instrumentation, that is, the recording balance, it is further oriented to furnace recorder, whereas the sample holder, it goes to the furnace, corresponds to the furnace temperature and programmer controller. TG curves are recorded using a thermal balance. It consists of an electronic microbalance, a furnace, a temperature programmer, and a recorder. Instrument connect connected to thermal balance to record the output, that is the curve. Now, this is the block diagram of a thermal balance. General confirmation of thermal analysis apparatus. These are the components. Now, what are those? Consist of furnace, temperature programming, data acquisition system, and microbalance. It is the most important component of thermal balance. A microbalance is used to record a change in the mass of the sample or a substance. An ideal microbalance must possess following features. It should accurately and reproducibly record the changes in the mass of the sample in wide ranges of atmospheric conditions and temperatures. It should provide electronic signals to record the change in mass using a recorder. The electronic signals should provide rapid response to change in mass. It should be stable at high ranges, mechanically and electrically. Modern microbalances have the ability to be not affected by vibrations. Its operations should be user-friendly. After the sample has been placed in the microbalance, it is left for 10 to 15 minutes to stabilize. Recorder balances are of two types, deflection type instruments and null type instruments. Deflection balances, 
They now these are of following types: beam type, helical type, cantilevered type beam, and torsion wire. Now here you can see in the figure the beam, cantilever, torsion, and spring. Different type of deflection balances. Null point balance. It consists of a sensor which detects the deviation from the null point and restores the balance to its null point by means of restoring a force. You can see in the figure the null type balance. Sample holder or crucible. There are different varieties of crucibles used. Some differ in shape and size while some differ in materials used. They are made up from platinum, aluminium, quartz or alumina and some other materials like graphite, stainless steel, glass etc. Crucibles should have temperature at least 100 Kelvin greater than temperature range of experiment and must transfer heat uniformly to the sample. Therefore, the shape Thermal and conductivity and thermal mass of crucibles are important, which depends on the weight and nature of the sample and temperature ranges. Temperature measurement. Now, these are the position of thermocouple in a thermal balance. You can simply clearly see here in the figure. It is done with the help of a course of thermocouple. Different materials are used for measuring different ranges of temperatures, that is, chromal or alumel, alloys of platinum. Thermocouples are used for temperatures around 11,000 degrees. Tungsten or uranium thermocouples are used for even higher temperatures. The position of thermocouple is important. It can be adjusted in following ways. Thermocouple is placed near the sample container and has no contact with sample container. This arrangement is placed near the sample container and has no contact with the sample container. It is not preferred in low pressures. The sample is kept inside the sample holder but not in contact with it. It res responds to small temperature changes only. Thermocouple is placed either in contact with the sample or with the sample container. This method is best and commonly employed. Recorder. The recording systems are mainly of two types, time-based potentiometric strip chart recorder and XY recorder. In recorders, and further, they are highlighted as in some instruments like light beam, galvanometer, photographic paper recorders, or one recorder with two or more pens are also used. However, the percentage mass change against temperature or time would be more useful. In the XY recorder, we get curves having plot of weights directly against Temperatures, applications, thermal stability, material characterization, kinetic studies, curve point determination, automatic thermogravimetric gra analysis, evaluation of gravimetric precipitates, compositional analysis, testing of purity of samples, corrosion studies, evaluation of uh, suitable standards used to analyze filter content in polymers, carbon black in oils, ash and carbon in coals. These are the references. Thank you very much.